Hello, my lovely friends. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Nigerian liquid soap with salt. The salt will serve as a preservative and also a thickener. We are not going to use STPP today. So this is 20 liter of soap. Now you get your different containers ready. Now I'm putting this 20 liters of water. I'm sharing it into these containers. I'm sharing it into these containers where I will mix my chemicals. Now this is SLS. SLS, I'm going to mix. Pour it inside the water. Then stir it thoroughly. And then keep it aside. Stir it and keep it aside. SLS SLS if you watch my previous videos you will see it now this is caustic soda sorry I'm supposed to use my hand gloves here because you need to be very careful while using this chemical so this is caustic soda just pour it inside the water and then stir it properly remember I'm using 20 liters of water so it's from that after measuring out the 20 liters of water that's where i'll get this other ones i'll pour them into this rubber now this one is soda ash soda ash now stir properly stir properly and keep it aside the next one is tether pond tether pond now I will put you will see it on the screen so that in case you go to the chemical store but when you get to the chemical store you can just tell them give me I want to make 10 liters or 20 liters of soap they will give you the chemical accordingly they have the measurement so what I'm pouring inside the test upon is sulfonic acid sulfonic acid so you pour it inside the test upon and stare very well I told you this time around we are not going to use STP. We are not going to use preservative. It's just salt, the table salt, you know. So the remaining water I have, I'm pouring it inside this a bigger container. This is the remaining one. So I want to add a thickener. This thickener is called nitroso. We have two types of thickeners. One is nitroso, one is antiso. Antisol is the soaking type. But what I'm using here is not the soaking type. If it is anti so you will soak it to the next day so that it will properly dissolve. But this one is instant thickener. So when you get to the chemical store, you can just tell them to give you the instant thickener. So you will stir very well. But what I have here now is the color. Color, you will put small water inside a bottle and then pour it inside. And then shake it properly. Shake it until it is properly dissolved. This is the bottle. We we'll shake it properly until it is properly dissolved. And then keep it aside. So the next one is the table salt. This is the salt. The salt, we, uh, this is our cooking salt that you all know. So you get it and then pour it inside the water and allow it to dissolve stir it very well and then keep it aside so after doing this now the next step is we are going to start to prepare the soup now it's very easy just try it out so this is the thickener we have already mixed inside i'm pouring the caustic soda inside this is the caustic soda after pouring it you stir it very well remember everything has dissolved Caustic soda does not take time to dissolve. So when you pour it inside the thickener, you stir it very well. Why the thing is, you are seeing uh, the foam on it is that. It's because I use the stick to stir the tezapon and sulfonic acid and other chemicals. Now this what I just poured here after the caustic soda is soda ash. So remember... After caustic soda, the next chemical you will add is soda ash. So I've added the soda ash 
the next one I'm going to add is XLS. So caustic soda, soda ash, and XLS. Remember to stir properly. Each time you add a new chemical, just stir properly. So this is the XLS. It's properly dissolved. Just add it and stir. XLS is a foaming agent. Foaming agent. A foaming agent. So stir it properly so that for for the soap, your soap to, you know, be without seed or lumps. So just stir properly. Stir properly. So the next thing I'm going to add is um, sulfonic acid mixed with tezapon. You saw me when I missed it. I added it and stirred it. So this is it. The tezapon has dissolved. The reason why we, we mix the two together so that the sulfonic acid will help to dissolve the tezapon properly. So at this point, you will see that it will, the foam will come up very well just but just continue to stay 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 now we have only one thing to add now and that is our salt the table salt i'm not going to add any other preservative i said i will use salt and it will last this soap will last more than even the one that you use salt i mean use a preservative so this is the salt it has properly dissolved i'm adding it to the soup this is it now you will just stir it at this point you will find out that the soap will be more thicker than it was so stir properly strip stir properly make sure you're using a, a bigger container so that no matter how it forms it will not pour because at this point now you will think that this bucket is full of soap no the soap is still down 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 but is the foam that is making it to look as if so i'm just adding the fragrance now this time around i'm adding fragrance so this fragrance is to help it help your soap to smell fine do this at home sell it you make some small money don't just sit down at home look for something even if you don't want to sell it you can use it at home well, your washing machine you can use it to wash so this is the soap the next day i left it so that this the foam will come down very well and to settle so this is the soap the next day i kept it overnight and then i'm adding the color to it this color is not pure green it's not also blue but you will see how it will come out so if you don't like this particular color you can use any other one when you go, you will see different colors. You can use this. So I have done liquid soap in my page before. This Nigerian liquid soap. I've done transparent liquid soap too. But why I'm doing this one is to teach you that you can do soap without STPP. And even my other soap, there is no STPP. You can do it without STPP or preservative. And your soap will still last and come out fine. So thank you for watching. Please just subscribe to my page. Subscribe, like my page, comment. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.